Welcome to Coastal and Harbor Engineering. Uh, my name is Yong Song Park, and I'm very happy to see you, especially because this is my, my specialty, my major. I'm leading Coastal Engineering Laboratory at SNU. And as you can see from the title of this course, this is exactly what I do. And here you will learn a lot about waves and uh, the forces, forces that waves exert to the structures and, and, and the environment and its interaction with those. So hopefully at the end of this course, you can share my passion for waves as well. I'll start with um, the, my introduction. Um, so, so this is the title, Coastal and Harbor Engineering. And my name is Yong Song Park. And the, you can, the easiest way to, to contact is to, is to write an email. So this is my email, Dr. Y.S. Park. That's what it means. And also, uh, my, lab, I, uh, my lab has a website. Maybe you can visit. Um, my office is in the room number 313 in building number 35. You are always welcome. But uh, if you let me know the, in advance, then, then, then you might have a better chance to see me. So the goal of this course is to learn basic theories on waves. Firstly, simple regular waves, then random waves. With the information, with, with the knowledge about the waves, then we would like to, to learn the design principles for coastal and harbor engineering structures, and also um, I'd like to invite the, the experts in, in the field to, to the lecture and you might get some, some hands-on experience on, on coastal and harbor engineering. So I'm going to show you a video um, the, made by Busan Port Authority about how to make, how to build a harbor. So, as I said, at the end of the course, I'd like you to be comfortable with, with basic wave theories, and also you, you have, a, have an understanding of design codes. And for that, for that, for, for your motivation, I'd like you to watch this video. So it's quite nice. It says, how to build a harbor. Busan Port Authority. Harbor is built according to design code. 선박의 저반력과 충격력을 외력이라 하는데 항만을 이용할 선박의 총 무게, 최대 중량 무게, 그리고 정지된 상태에 떠 있는 선체가 배제하는 물량에 대한 총 무게를 최대 톤수로 계산해 적용합니다. 둘째, 설계 조위입니다. 구조물에 가장 위험하게 작용하는 해수면의 높이를 설계 조위라 하는데 해수면의 높이는 항만에 영향을 주는 최대치로 계산해 적용합니다. 셋째, 파고입니다. 파도의 골에서 마루까지의 높이를 파고라고 하는데 파고를 고려할 때에는 태풍, 계절풍 등의 모든 변수를 대입합니다. 넷째, 지반입니다. 연안의 지층 길이, 연약층 두께 등 지반의 구성 상태를 면밀하게 조사해야 안전하게 구조물이 올라갈 수 있습니다. 다섯째, 상제 하중입니다. 흙 자체의 무게를 제외하고 지반 위에 가해지는 모든 형태의 하중을 상제 하중이라 하는데 
안전한 항만 시설을 위해 필요한 설계 프로세스 조건입니다. 우리가 눈으로만 보던 항만이 만들어지는 조건들에 대해 알아보았는데요. 복잡하지만 안전을 위해 모든 조건과 변수를 반영하여 만들어지는 항만. 부산항만공사는 안전한 항만을 만들기 위해 오늘도 노력하고 있습니다. 오케이, okay. um, that was the first part of, of the video, and it, it showed us the, the design process for for a harbor, and the, especially it talked about the the um, um, the design um, constraint. So, or, or, or the design criteria, mostly when it comes to water, um, the, all those things the, the are related to essentially the water surface elevation. How high the water surface elevation will be according to either the ship coming to, coming to the harbor or tide or waves. Because, because of course we would like to to have our, our the the ground to be higher than water, and also the water surface surface elevation directly relates to the pressure that the the structure has to to withstand. And also, we talked about the 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 ground condition is important. Okay, so that was, that was the first part of the video. And there's another one. Hangman은 어떻게 만들어질까요? 앞에서 알아본 항만 시설 설계 프로세스의 조건들을 반영해 실제 설계되는 항만 시설에는 어떤 것들이 있을까요? 첫째, 계류 시설입니다. 선박이 저반 및 이안하여 화물을 하여 승객의 승강을 할수 있는 시설을 계류 시설이라 말합니다. 선박과 화적의 종류에 따라 계류 시설의 설계가 달라질 뿐 아니라 자연 조건, 이용 조건, 시공 조건, 경제성, 최근 사례 및 추세를 고려하여 계류 시설의 구조 형식을 선정합니다. 둘째, 외곽 시설입니다. 흔히 방파제라 부르는 것이 외곽 시설이며 외해로부터 파도의 침입을 방지하고 사람, 구조, 지진일 등의 영향으로부터 항내 시설을 보호하는 역할을 합니다. 이를 위해 세 가지를 검토하여 설계하는데요. 항내 침입파가 가장 작도록 효율적인 위치에 배치하는 항내 정온도 확보, 선박 항해에 지장이 없는 유효폭을 확보한 위치에 배치하는 조선의 용이성 확보, 항내 해수의 정체 및 주변의 해수 유동의 변화를 최소화하는 항내 수질이 그것입니다. 셋째, 부지입니다. 항만 시설 중 우리가 흔히 생각하는 것에는 부지가 존재하는데 야적장과 항만 배후단지 등이 있습니다. 일반적으로 부지는 수역시설 준서로 매립된 점성 토층이 대부분이며 연약 집안이라 계량이 필수입니다. 이를 위해 표층 처리공이라는 과정을 거치게 되는데 사람과 장비 투입 시 확보할 수 있는 장비 주행성 확보를 위한 공정을 말합니다. 자, 항만이 어떻게 만들어지는지 어떤 조건들이 있는지 알아보았는데요. 항만에 대한 궁금증 해소에 도움이 되셨나요? 복잡하지만 안전을 위해 모든 조건과 변수를 반영하여 만들어지는 항만. 부산항만공사는 안전한 항만을 만들기 위해 오늘도 노력하고 있습니다. Okay. Um, in, the, in the second part, it talked about the, the main, main facilities in, in a harbor. So first of all, the, we, we need to ha have a mooring facility for loading and unloading. That's the main function for the, for the harbor. And um, the, secondly, it talked about the outer wall facility, like breakwater. So, so, so we have we have walls, the far offshore, that can protect 
the harbor facility from, from incoming waves, tides, and, and, and tsunamis, and so on. And also, also when you actually build the harbor, um, the harbor is, is, the, is, the, is where the, the ocean and the land meet. Of course, we need to have the land area so that we ha have the facilities and, and, and industry that harbor supports. And those land are, are usually reclaimed from the sea. So um, we, we, ha we have similar, pro the, the wall, wall structure, just like the one used for, for outer wall structure, like breakwater, near to the shore. And, and the, the dredge, dredge, dredging soil is put behind this, this wall structure, and the, the land is made. But since it's made out of soil with lots of water, usually it's not strong enough, so it is reinforced so that it, ha it has enough strength to support the, the ground sub facility. That's the second video talked about. And most of them, especially the, those related to the water part, waves, we will we, we'll cover them all. And, and at the, towards the end of the uh, end of the course, you learn how to design breakwater, because this wall structure is used both both for the, for, the, for the breakwater and also for the, the ground area. And also, I, I will invite um, an experienced engineer who manages big harbor harbor construction site toward the end, and you, you, you get to, to hear from the, the, those, those who actually work in this area. So let me go back to the lecture slide. Um, as I said, the second, uh, second goal for, uh, for uh, this course is for you to have an understanding of design standards for harbor. And so you can find the design standards for, for I think, each of the country. So this is the, the one for Korea, and this is the, the American standard. Uh, formerly called the Shore Protection Manual, now it's called the Coastal Engineering Manual. You can download it from the link that I, that I um, added here. Uh, by the way, this lecture, uh, the slides will be, will be uploaded um, on the website after each lecture, and preferably before the lecture, from next time, I hope. Um, also, you can download Korean, Korean standards from, from our course website. I put up there um, so that you don't have to look for it, as long as you can understand Korean. But um, the, the design, design standards in each country are quite similar to each other because they are based on the same, same theory. So once you actually open up those standards, then you see those things. And uh, at the end of this course, I'd like you to be able to understand all of those. So you, you just open up the design standard and you know the, the theories behind. On the other hand, um, the standards doesn't really go into the details. Of the, of the theories, and that will, that will be dealt to it in this lecture. And these are the textbooks and a reference. So I'm going to use mainly the, the two books. So um, until 
the, the midterm exam, we will use the first one by Dean and Dalimpo, the, the water wave mechanics for engineers and scientists. Here we are, we are going to learn mainly regular waves. So regular waves mean is sinusoidal, the waves that has, has the form of the, the simple harmonic function, just sine or cosine function, I mean. So that's what we are going to learn from this book. On the other hand, the waves we encounter in real field are not very regular, but rather random. So the, we, we, we learn the irregular random waves and their mechanics with which we will so try and, and, and practice the design of, of the maritime structures. Uh, in this course in particular, we are going to learn how to design case and breakwater. And the third one, is quite advanced. So just in case you want to go deeper, then this book is, is maybe, maybe useful. But on the other hand, um, when we deal with the harbor oscillation and also harbor tranquility, we will we, use one chapter of this book. Okay, I believe those books are all available in, in the library. Okay, um, that's all I got for today. Um, so before I let you go, if you have, have, have anything in mind, then you are free to let me know, or feel free to write me an email or come to my office if you have any, any issues.